fun. But I thought you loved Captain Power cereal. Not anymore. I want to eat Captain Power sidekick Ted. Look, it's up there. On top. A top shelf cereal? Oh, I don't know, Wayne. It has a warning on it and lots of extra additives. Extra additives, extra value. Please, Mom. Please. I'm a good boy. I'll push the card for you. Ow! <laughs> ow, ow, ow! Wayne, cut it out! What? what? I'm just warming up! Okay, people, on your mark! Uh, excuse me, Mr. Slap? What? I noticed you've chosen a route over scrub grass again, sir. This is the shrew rich habitat, and... Thank you, Lucian, just fascinating. On your mark! Get set! Uh, Mr. Slap, I'm sorry that I refuse to trample shrews. They're slightly endangered. May I suggest a paved route instead? Uh, no. But feel free to make your own life difficult. Go! <laughs> Endangering wildlife is bad. It's very, very bad. Exactly. I just, I, I just, I, I, I change cereals. That's all. To what? Sidekick Ted. What other? Have you ever noticed how the little kids are forced to play in that tiny corner, Mari? Have you ever noticed that? Have you? And how the big kids dominate? And excuse me, Mari. Club, there are two, one, two, two, two things which threaten the poor marshland shrew. <laughs> Is it okay if we sit in on the meeting? Sure. Now, as I was saying, two things, one, two, two things threaten the marshland shrew. 
One, the manufacturer of toilet brushes from wild scrub grass, and two, discarded bottles in which shrews become trapped. <sighs> Why, thank you. On behalf of Marshland Shrews... Help! Help! A real shrew! It's stuck! <gasps> Too dangerous. The shrew might get cut. No, this calls for mouth to mouth. <laughs> we are so brave. Hey, you suddenly made yourself a lot of new girlfriends. Did I? Let me try your cereal. <laughs> oh no, you you wouldn't want it. It's uh. It's not tasty at all. It's just plain oats and seeds and stuff. Horrible, really. Gimme! No! You didn't let me try yours. Why should I let you try mine? <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, there he is! Oh, Lucian, <laughs> tell us more about the marshland shrews. <laughs> oh, yes. You make them seem so cute. Well, that's not so difficult. They are cute. <laughs> like you. Oh. <laughs> Bodie <laughs> fights, fruity lumps, nature bits. Didn't you even think about germs? Oh, it was an emergency, girls. Any one of you would have done the exact same thing in my place. I just put the bottle to my lips and suck the poor creature to safety. Oh. <laughs> coasters, people! Don't any of you know how to use coasters? <laughs> the stuff is... <sighs> I don't get it. It just makes me sleepy. I give up. I have half a mind to kick all those mud tramping little girlies out of my house. Do you know how hard it is to get grime out of carpets when it's ground in by 30 pairs of love-struck little feet? Of course, there are many things to campaign about, but the other big threat to the marshland show is... Uh, hi. Uh, anybody want to go to the junkyard and uh, do junk? Go fight a hubcap, Wayne. <laughs> uh, I need to eat more of that stuff. Hey, everybody. Look what I found in the back. That's right! Threat one to the shrew, the toilet brush industry, which is destroying shrew's homes for the sake of old-fashioned bristles. Well, isn't there anything we can do about it? She's right! By choosing a wild grass brush, Lucian's mother is hurting the shrew and Lucian's feelings. Save the marshland shrew! Save the shrew! Save the shrew! <gasps>
something wrong, Mari. No? Oh, you're right, of course. This picture doesn't do you justice. What do you mean? You? Looking like a big grumpy baby is what I mean. We'll have to get a new one done. And soon. Oh. I'm hoping it's a furry worm mutation, but it could just as easily be a scalp condition. Wow, furry worms. Cool. I know. I'd finally get loads of fur pets and Mom wouldn't know a thing. Let me see. It just smells dirty to me. Hi, Mari. What's up? Something wrong? No. Come on, Mari. We're all friends here. Even Wormy. It's my mom. She's getting a new family picture done. I've heard of worse things, Mari. You couldn't possibly understand. Your mother doesn't give you wavy hair, smother you in makeup, and stick you in synthetic skirts. Pity! It'd suit you, girl pants. <laughs> Sorry, I have to go now. Bye. So, what are you gonna do about this fuzzy worm? Oh, I guess it's time to consult an expert, Tony. Dad's in the goose paddock. No, Tony. I think he needs to see a proper vet. Oh. Go to worry <laughs> little fella. Yeah. Ah! You just tried to ambush me with a dirty worm! Don't be pathetic. I'm telling Mom about that moldy maggot! So she can bug spray it to smithereens! Oh! One word about the worm and you're busted too, Wayne. I'll tell Mom you're turning your bed into a road-ready drag racer. Ugh. Deal. I knew you'd see it my way. Hey, Dad. Room for two little ones in there? Maybe. Where are you guys heading? Tony's got a little medical emergency he needs seeing to. Oh, I see. No, I don't. Now it's not a lie. It's okay, Dad. I can get Tony to the vet on foot. Vet? Uh, what vet? Bye! Tony! And not believe the depth of dumbness in this town. A child wouldn't even fall for that prank. <gasps> Mari, what are you doing? Taking a walk? Patsy loaned me Orwell as a pet pacifier? Stroking living fur can be very therapeutic. I don't think Orwell would agree. You're mashing up his coat. Oh. <sighs> Squirrel is remarkably lifelike. You're right, Tony. I don't believe it. That's my squirrel, stolen from my scientifically accurate animal collection. Wayne. Hey, you're not a squirrel. Ah! What about the worm? The worm can wait. This is war. to say about this? Aw, big girl pants' little teddy toy got her. Hey. Beat it, flab face. I'm almost ready for blast off. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Woo! Ah. Mommy! Wayne's falling over! Hmm. Maybe this act of teddy terrorism wasn't Wayne. He has been kind of busy, all with his car crash game and all. Wayne? Have you fallen out of bed again? We have warm worries to take care of. <laughs> Someone is toying with this town, Tony. Playing with the populace like so many string puppets. That looks funny. It's <laughs> fiendishly funny. Hey, there's birdseed on the ground here. Mm, and it's still fresh. It's just along here somewhere. Ah! <gasps> <gasps> Hurry, boys! Get to safety! What's going on? We got a serious hamster situation here, son. The thing's gone crazy and taken a vet hostage. I 
hamster? I can't believe a hamster would do such a thing. <gasps> That's Orwell! Uh. Looks like you're losing your touch, Mari. I can't see even the dumbest of drivers stopping for a small shell ornament. Hi, Lucian. I expect you're here to shout, right? I will admit to a momentary feeling of hostility, but now I am calm and curious. I can't believe all this was you. It's amazing. Thanks, but it isn't that hard. Those folks are dumb. They're like sheep. You just point and they go. I think it's funny. Except the mad hamster bit. That was creepy. Uh, funny, maybe. But some of this stuff is pretty close to town terrorism, Mari. I did what I had to do. There's no way Mom can force photograph me as long as this town stays shut. Uh, you can't shut the town forever. Can't I? No, Mari, you can't. You're not the only one with an emergency here. There are pets to think of. Your last stunt shut down the mall, and Orwell's taken the in-store vet hostage. If this worm dies, you'll have it and Orwell's rabies on your conscience forever! There is nothing wrong with Orwell. All he did was put some sherbet in his food to make his mouth look foamy. I just knew Orwell wouldn't hurt anyone. I hope you're not playing on that bed anymore, Wayne! I'm not! I'm a good boy. You had a nasty fall the last time. Wayne's all better now, Mommy. <laughs> Make way. Sick worm. Coming through. Would you just... Sick worm here. Hey, little lady, wait. There's a rabbit hamster in there. Who is that crazy kid? She's not crazy. She's just highly intelligent. It's not the same thing. I didn't go in the end. How come? He wasn't a vet. He's just an in-store animal advisor. Anyone who couldn't tell a hamster with sherbet from a hamster with rabies isn't that good. I don't think I could respect his opinion. Hey, it's not furry anymore. I know. I gave him a bath. I think he was just a little bit dirty after all. <laughs> yeah, he's nice and clean. Ah! Oh, I... <gasps> Thank <laughs> you. 